Hello and welcome to day two of our English lesson. Uh, before we get started, I want you to shout out at your computer screen what we were learning about yesterday. What was it? Yeah, so we were looking at diary writing, but we were focusing on the past progressive tense and also the simple past tense, okay? Because obviously diaries are written in the past tense, okay? Something that's already happened. Now, before we get into a lesson, I'm sure you're going to love this part, but you're going to watch the diary of a wombat one more time. But don't worry, we're not watching the whole thing. We're going to listen to the first part up until when the family have the barbecue, and then we'll get into the next bit. Hello, I'm Jasmine. This story is called... Diary of a Wombat by Jackie French and Bruce Watley. This wombat's name is Mothball and she's very cheeky. Monday morning. Slept. Afternoon. Slept. Evening. Ate grass. Scratched. Night, ate grass, slept. Tuesday morning, slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, ate grass. Night, ate grass. Decided grass is boring, scratched. Hard to reach the itchy bits. Slept. Wednesday morning. Slept. Afternoon. Mild cloudy day. Found the perfect dust bath. Look, she's rolling in the dust near where they're cooking their barbecue. So, found the perfect dust bath. We're going to look at this sentence which comes from the diary of a wombat. So, found the perfect dust bath. I want you at home to have a think about where is the verb in this sentence, okay? It has found the perfect dust bath. Now, remember what I said yesterday about verbs. Verbs are a what? What is a verb? A verb is a doing word, okay? You do verbs, okay? So, you look through it. Can you do found? Can you find something? Can you do the? Okay, go through the sentence and I want you to have a think. Do you don't have to write this down, just have a think. What is the verb? Right, cool. So hopefully, hopefully what you would have found, found, it was actually found was the verb, okay? Found the perfect dust bath. So the wombat, he's walking about and he finds the dust bath, okay? That's what he is doing, he found, so that's the verb. Uh, as a little bonus, can anyone tell me what type of word is this? So found the perfect dust bath. Have a think about what it's doing to the dust bath. What's it doing? It's... It's adding more detail, it's describing the dust bath. Uh, can anyone remember what, what these are called? To describe something begins with an A. Okay, so this is an adjective. Okay, an adjective. And this is a verb. Okay, that's a verb. Cool. Right, on to our next bit. So yesterday we spoke about the past progressive tense. Can anyone remember what the past progressive tense is? What is it? Shout it out at home. Okay. Yeah, it's a difficult one, but the past progressive tense basically shows you something that is ongoing. It shows an action in the past that's still going on. Okay. So for example, when the wombat found the dust bath, we can write something about the family in the past progressive tense. Okay. So what were the family doing? while the wombat was having a dust bath. Dust bath. Okay, the family were, were having lunch. So we could say, the family, the family were eating 
lunch. Okay, so this now suggests it's past progressive because we have used our ing. So remember yesterday we added ing to a verb to make it past progressive. Okay, so that is how we make something a past progressive tense, is we usually, usually add ing to the verb. So, as you can see, my verb eating, it's something they do, you can actually physically eat, okay, you eat. Uh, they're eating, so I've added the ing on to make it past progressive, which shows that they were eating lunch while the wombat was having the dust bath. So, this suggests that the, the wombat having his dust bath was having his dust bath while the family were eating. Okay, if we were to say the family ate their lunch, we would presume that they weren't happening at the same time. But because the family were eating their lunch, as he found the, love, the perfect dust bath, that suggests that he's finding the dust bath while they are eating. Okay, so that is the past progressive tense. Now, I want you to write, just on a scrap paper, don't, don't worry about your handwriting, uh, but I want, you to really, I want you to write another sentence focusing on your verb, adding your ing to make it past progressive, so I want you to write a past progressive sentence about the family okay, at the barbecue. So what were they doing? What could they do? You could say, what were the children doing? They were, you could say they were using their eyes to, to stare, which is a verb. Or you could, what else were they doing with, uh, with their food? They were, they were doing something with their food. All right. So have a go at writing a sentence, and then we'll be back. Oh, don't forget your full stops and your capital letters. Okay, start a sentence and end a sentence. Always, no exception. So, well done on that part. What I'd like to do now is, can you please read your sentence out to me to your computer screen aloud, pointing to the verb with your ing in it. And I'd also like you to tell me what tense your sentence is written in. Okay, go for that. So, what you could have had, you could have had, for example, you could have had, Dad was, because it's in the past, he was doing it, Dad was cooking, cook being my verb, because he's cooking, he's actually doing it. I'm going to add the ing, because suggesting something is continuing, the cooking is happening right now. Uh, well, not right now, but it was happening in the past. Uh, Dad was cooking... Sausages. Full stop. You could have also had the children were staring. Stare being my verb, I've added the ing on and also a full stop. So staring. So you could have had that. Okay, so for this next bit, you're going to have to go into the resource section and you're going to see lots of Australian animals. Now, you're going to pick your favourite Australian animals. I'm going to pick the koala, because it's my favourite. Uh, and then what I'd like you to do is to write a sentence, or a few sentences, uh, to describe the kind of chaos that animal would cause at a picnic, just like the wombat. But your sentence must be in the past progressive tense. Okay, so remember, we're using that ing adding it onto the verb. Uh, so for example, for a koala at a picnic, what sort of things do koalas do? Well, I know from the picture that koalas try climb trees. They love climbing trees and hugging onto things. So maybe, Dad may be afraid of koalas. So the koala might want to climb up Dad's leg. Okay, so we could say, the koala was now, I want to write climb, but I'm going to use this ing 
because climb is my verb, I'm going to add the ing. So the koala was climbing dad's leg. Obviously, you don't really want that at a, pic at a picnic. But this is quite a boring sentence, okay? Because I want to add a bit of description. So you know what? I'm going to use my adjectives to describe my koala. So using our editing skills, we're going to do a little arrow. And I'm going to describe my koala. So my koala, he's going to be old. He's going to be an old koala. An old. And I'm going to put an and. So the old and... Mm, what can I do to describe the koala? Well, koalas are grey. So why don't I put the old and grey koala was climbing dad's leg, okay? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to create a few sentences uh, that are in the past progressive tense using your verb with the ing about the different Australian animals and all the chaos they could cause at a picnic. Now remember, use the Diary of Wombat uh, for your creativity and to help you, uh, but this is what we're focusing on. We're focusing on the verb and the past progressive tense, okay? It doesn't really matter too much about the information in your sentence. But try, try to use your adjectives, your capital letters, and your full stops. Okay, so give that one a go. Cool, so super well done on those sentences. Now for the main bit of our activity or for our lesson. Okay, so what you're going to need now is you're going to need this prompt sheet here. Okay, so when I hold up these sheets, you don't have to print these out. Okay, you can always just design this on a bit of paper. It would literally take about a minute. Draw it out on a bit of paper. Bang, you've got your template already. But what you've got here is you've got all the different animals, uh, which we first saw in the mischievous animals. And we've got some sentence starters, okay? If the sentence starters help, helps you, then use them. But if you feel like you don't need the sentence starters, then don't use the sentence starters, okay? It's about pushing them, okay? Not choosing the easiest option, the option they can do. They should struggle with this, and it should make them think, okay? That's how we improve and how we get better. Uh, so anyway, you've got some sentence starters, and like what we have did before, uh, you've got to really focus on that verb form, the past progressive tense, uh, and I'd like you to f for finish these sentences for each of the animals, okay? So, for example, the koala, the, the koala bear was climbing dad's leg. We could say a young cockatoo was pecking his beak on the picnic basket, okay? Pecking being what the bird's doing. I've added the ing, suggesting that it was pecking while they were having their picnic, okay? So have a go at that, and that is all for today. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, well done.